Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do uh, your oracle reading for this week. Also, it's going to be a 72-hour energy reading. So let's get into it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So, Aquarius, I think we did a reading earlier this week, and it was like, you're getting married. And the same energy is showing up here in this reading. But um, before we talk about that, we'll talk about something else. Some of you, you need to let grudges go, especially grudges that you're holding against family members family members or people close to you, definitely family members, it's time to really release the negativity. And you have that card, okay? It's time to release the negativity, full moon and Scorpio. So it's like you really want to be good. You really want to do right. But something inside of you is like welling up to lash out, be bad, say the wrong thing, say what you feel. Um, just be completely, go the opposite way. And that could be an everyday struggle. You never really get rid of it, but you have to learn how to work with that energy. So for some of you, you need to learn how to uh, calm your temper. You need to understand that every of offense is not, you know, it's not a finality. It's not the end of, you can come back from it. If someone offends you or you offend someone else, it doesn't mean you throw the relationship away. Or the person away. But it means that maybe it needs to be some work done. Okay. Um, definitely a lot of energy of healing family connections. Okay. Um, we're getting into the season. The holiday season. This is when people visit family. See family. You're going to have to deal with that. Alright. Um, some of you. You're getting exactly what you want. Okay. And I say that because um, you have the expectations card or expectation card. So it's like you pray for this. You manifest this. You wanted it. You wished upon a star. You did the work. You, I mean, you just put the energy out there. Um, the completion is your manifestation coming to you, something coming full circle. So it's like you're expecting, um, you're expecting uh, your... Uh, long-term goals, wishes, hopes, dreams uh, to come to pass, to reality with the distant horizons. And it could be coming to you in the distant horizon um, or on the distant horizon here. Um, everything that you can, you close your eyes and you, you dream of, uh, you wish for, you write down in your journal, you pray over, you do magic, candle work, any type of energy work for. It says that it's coming to you. And it could be all of a sudden also. Sudden wealth here. Now, wealth is calculated by so many different factors. Of course, we we all go straight to money. Hell, we all need it, right? So, um, it is the currency of life. This life anyway. Um, sudden wealth here. And it's an 11 card, so it's what you've manifested. You could be seeing 11 or 11, 11. Um, suddenly, things turn over, turn around for you. Money is good. Relationships will be good also. The sevens talk about relationship, business partnership, equality, interpersonal connection. So definitely, someone could be coming in uh, for you. And we see that because um, we, have, uh, we have the courting man. Some of you, if you are a male Aquarius, you are the courting man, okay? And then we also have the young man. Some of you, you have competition. If you are courting a female, you have competition in terms of um, that female. There's someone else here. If you are a feminine energy, you have a man who wants to court you, who wants to date you exclusively, date you with the intention of being in a committed relationship with you. Um, this person may have a youthful vibe about them. They could play sports professionally or just, you know, in their leisure time, very athletic, could have a nice car, a fast car, gets a lot of attention, could dress up for work, or they just get a lot of attention. They, they could be on the taller side, very statuesque and very, uh, you know, domineering with their presence, just not, you know, who they are, but 
when they walk into a room, they command, you know, attention, uh, respect just by the way they look. This could be a businessman also. Uh, and you could be the businessman Aquarius uh, male. Um, we have the brunette female showing up, okay? So there is something holding you and this person up or back, okay? There is a relationship that maybe your person is in or they're, they're trying to get out of, okay? Because what we do have showing up is the unhappy marriage uh, card. Now, if they're not married, then they're in a relationship and they're unhappy, they could be unhappy. This person knows that they're unhappy. You could be the side woman or yeah, you could be the side woman. They know about you. Uh, the main person knows about you. They know how much uh, your person really wants to be with you, really likes you, likes how you look. Uh, because we also have maybe you or your person is in a relationship where they're not physically attracted to their partner. Okay. Um, someone is just not physically attracted anymore anymore and that's not going to resonate for everyone but if you're dealing with someone who's married or in a relationship they're not physically attracted to that person and maybe that's why they brought you into the relationship not knowing that they would uh fall in love with you um they could also not be attracted to this person because they could be somewhat of a sapiosexual you know they are um, intellectually inclined and, and they see that Aquarius, you are book smart. You have intellect, you have, um, you know, discernment, uh, you, knowledge. You, you also know how to apply knowledge, okay? And this person definitely, um, you know, that, that's why they fell in love with you. That's why they like you. That's why they want to be with you. That's why they're not attracted to their person also, Okay. You and this person could be separated because someone or you or the both of you are lovesick over each other. Somebody can't even get out of bed. Um, or when they do get out of bed, they still feel sluggish, tired. They have kind of racing thoughts about their emotions and their thoughts. Um, we also have somebody here who doesn't know if they have what you want. Okay. They know that they want to secretly propose to you. Okay. And marriage is coming up. Uh, heavy, heavily in these cards they don't know if um y you're okay with the fact that they don't want children okay um or it could be mutual or it's you Aquarius you don't want children okay and um this person either has children or they want more um but there's an energy of somebody not wanting to procreate not wanting to sometimes this card comes up when someone doesn't want any long-term strings attached okay um uh, they want an easy out that's what i was getting i don't know uh be cautious of that aquarius and in terms of maybe how you feel aquarius it looks like you're just on a new pathway you have you are reborn or something is has transformed for you could be seeing a lot of butterflies or you were at a certain time um, you're just taking a new path and the new path is letting go of the negativity, the argument, letting the argument in. The argument can be anything and with anybody. It doesn't have to just be a love partner. Letting the argument in with maybe a Scorpio person. Um, it could be anybody or it could be, it could be anything, but definitely letting the argument in um, and going in a new path. Okay, we're going to start over, start anew. Um, maybe even trying to, uh, let people in, let people get closer to you, um, really have intimacy in your connections. You can't wait to reconnect or connect with someone new because you're going to be so different in your next relationship is how some of the Aquarius are feeling. Okay. Um, there is somebody who is trapped in thought about you again, lovesick over you or stuck in a situation, a relationship uh, to where they can't get out. There could also be someone who's incarcer incarcerated to where you guys can't be together. Also, um, there's the energy of the child. Okay, so there is separation between you and someone else, you and that new soulmate or you and an old person coming back to you, maybe needing time to get things in order because there is blockage between the two of you. Uh, this card talks about springtime. So maybe in the springtime of next year, uh, things will look completely different for you. There'll be a starting a new, the child card. You could even be 
um, pregnant with a child. I don't know. We got the I don't want children card coming up also. Um, but if not pregnant with a child, then it is new start, uh, new home, new, just newness coming in for you. Okay. Um, and it could be by way of a court case. Uh, you winning something, something going in your favor, someone hearing your story, hearing your, your side, and um, them going and, and them, uh, you know, finding the verdict in your favor, okay? Uh, them ruling in your favor. Uh, also, in terms of a third party, it looks like you could be chosen Aquarius, okay? Somebody is really trying to decide how they can come to you or what to offer you or how they can get rid of, you know, rid of that other person or how they can do this or how they can get out of something. Um, they could be going to someone and getting best advice. Okay. Uh, we got the books here also, and we have, we have a, a third party, you know, bringing two people together. This also sometimes can be, you know, the angel bringing two people together, um, for you guys to come together and see, uh, you know, hash out the differences, let go of negativity, let the argument in. Um, the two of you could have communication, and in that communication, you're going to let the argument in, you're going to cease, cease and desist, is what I'm hearing. Um, do keep in mind there's someone around you who's not a friend, who's not a fan of you, who's just not fond of you. They could be doing something in secret, you know, um, they could be doing something dark. In secret, they could be trying to manifest the bad uh, ill will towards you. Uh, do your protective work, whatever that looks like for you. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. What we're going to do in the extended reading is talk about this person that wants to come into your life and court you, date you, uh, who has secret plans of proposing to you. Um, we're going to talk about what this person has to offer, what type of person they are, maybe even get some indication of their occupation, uh, their personality, uh, and maybe what they're going through now. So if you want to purchase the extended reading, you can do that by clicking the link below. Aquarius, I hope that this reading gave me a bit of insight. Um, if it did, let me know how uh, this resonates for you down below. You can also go over to the website and book your own reading, get your own oracle reading, just like this one, and uh, we can pull the energy for you. You could donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link uh, or Buy L a Coffee. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.